Okay, we've got a lot to discuss because you reported an amazing quarter. But I think what people are trying to figure out is, does it matter what price grains trade at or does it matter whether there are payments to farmers? Why is there such strong demand right now for your products? Well, there's a few factors. Number one is really the basic supply and demand. The inventory of grains are low, which drives pricing up. And that's probably the biggest correlation to farmer uh, profitability and their ability to purchase. But then there's a second factor, and that is what's been happening over the last several years. We've had some pent-up demand because farmers were um, holding back on purchases for a number of years during those lean times. And so you've got this combination of good profitability today and a pent-up market. Okay, I'm glad you mentioned the latter because I was going to talk about uh, your predecessor, Martin Rieschenhagen. He kept buying back stock because he told me one day they're going to start buying equipment again and we've got to buy stock before they do it. How did he know? Is it that predictable a cycle? <laughs> well, it's a predictable cycle in terms of its uh, shape. It's just hard to predict when. Okay. So the farming cycle goes through its ups and downs. There's good years and lean years. It's, it's hard to predict the exact timing. But you know, uh, you know that there's going to be good times and bad times. Well, they do, to some degree, trade together. Uh, Latin America was great. Europe was great. United States, North America was great. I mean, they can't all just be getting subsidies from governments right now. It, 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 there's something happening, whether it be a protein shortage, whether it be that, that there are more people who are better off and want to get fed. Something is occurring in this world right now. What is it? Yeah, this is not about government payments. This is about raw economics, the supply and demand. And in general, economies are all coming back strongly after uh, the COVID crisis. That generates uh, demand for food and uh, demand for ethanol, which is a consumer of grains. That combined with some uh, tighter harvests over the last couple years has kept grain inventories low. Inventory low, prices high. And that means more profitability for our farmers. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Kramer on Twitter. Have a question? Tweet Kramer. Hashtag Mad Tweets. Send Jim an email to madmoney at cnbc.com or give us a call at 1 800 743 CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.